Raleigh's oldest fire station is relocating from this small two-story brick building on a busy South Dawson Street downtown. Station number one is right around the corner from the fire department's headquarters. The plan is to combine them in a new state-of-the-art building just about a mile away. WRAL's Matt Tallhelm joining us live in Raleigh to explain why this short move is about long-term safety downtown. Matt. Yeah, Lena, I mean, there are four lanes of traffic here in front of Central Station number one, and it can get pretty busy here, as you see, as we head into the afternoon rush hour. Those long fire trucks that are inside there had to pull straight out into all this traffic as it comes in and as the calls come in, and they are responding to more calls, almost a thousand more calls than just three years ago. When a call comes into fire station number one, Downtown Raleigh hears the sirens blare, but the rush to respond can be delayed by traffic zooming by the small brick station tucked away between buildings on South Dawson Street. We use caution and, and ease our way out, make sure that we're clear. Uh, it's a one-way street here, so the, the traffic can get backed up at times. And they back up traffic when the fire trucks return and can only back into their bays. It's one of our busiest stations as well, Central Station. We house two engine companies and a ladder company here servicing the growth of this community. Station number one started serving downtown in 1952. Its age shows in the cracked tile floors from the weight of today's bigger trucks and the wall of firefighter gear hanging in the open, emitting potentially toxic carcinogens into the station. Our newer stations and the stations that we upgrade, they have an enclosed room for the actual gear protection. Fire Chief Herbert Griffin is working with the city to build a new central downtown station on this lot at the corner of South Salisbury Street and MLK Junior Boulevard. It will have more bays to house more equipment and crews, and fire trucks will be able to pull through to get in and out faster. The growth has changed. There's a lot of high rises going up 40 story buildings and so forth. So yeah, the, that, the demographics this is changing to the point that we have to keep up with those, those growth changes. And that new building will also house a backup 911 call center that can be activated if there's an emergency at the other main facility here. Uh, right now, the city is reviewing proposals from architecture firms to design the new station number one. It's a $72 million project. Chief Griffin expects it'll be finished and open in about three to four years, and then that relocation can happen.